Good evening and welcome to the AscendantTraders.com group. And uh, we're working on our trade plan for Friday, March 7th. AscendantTraders.com, effective trade plans delivered to you daily. So let's take a look at what we're going to be doing tonight. Uh, as always, we're going to look at our flag list, our watch list. We're going to set some stops and alerts based on what we saw today. Action. Check news. Tomorrow is the February employment report. This is going to be the center stage of tomorrow. Um, all week we've talked about light news or not very impactful news, although the market has been moved. Tomorrow's mar news will move the market. Um, I read one commentary today by uh, Ryan Litchfield, um, one of the persons I really respect with regards to charting and just good market internals, market direction, market sense. And uh, he was talking about it's the calm before the storm, meaning could uh, how bearish, how bad will the news be out tomorrow? Uh, people have to have jobs. People have to make money. If they're not making any money, look out. You know, some of the same store numbers out yesterday were bad. So um, tomorrow should be interesting. 8.30 a.m. Be there or be square. So that's going to be set on the market, so there's no real significant earnings tomorrow. There rarely are on Fridays. We'll check the indexes. We're going to look at some new trades, set some new alerts, and we're going to go have a life. So let's begin by looking at the flag list from last night. Okay, so let's take a look at the market. Uh, Starting off with the NASDAQ. And what you can see with the NASDAQ that's a little alarming or a little concerning. Um, obviously, we've been talking about the NASDAQ has been the weakest of the three sectors, uh, the three indexes, the NASDAQ, Dow Jones, and S&P 500. And we talked about the NASDAQ has never been able to break the 20, and we've got this downtrend line. But now we've got this um, descending wedge play. We've got this support line here. We've got the uh, downtrend line here, and we're coming into where it's got to pop one way or the other. Um, again, we talked about the calm before the storm. Um, I'm not saying we're going to fall out the window tomorrow, but it, it could be bad. Um, Dow Jones. Um, Dow Jones is in more of a channel uh, between, I don't know, 12,000. And uh, up here at 12,700. So Dow Jones is more of a channel, but again, it is getting ready to break out of the channel to the downside. But it could easily bounce. Um, the S&P 500, um, this one also is looking, uh, looking very weak um, and definitely breaking lower. We're, we're, we're below the August lows of last year. Uh, we're definitely making a 52-week low. So... Um. Uh, it, it it definitely could be bad. It definitely could be bad. We all all this week, really for the past week or so, uh, we've been talking about thirteen twenty was a support, and you know where the buyers go. Although a lot of the market went up and didn't fail, the S and P. Look at this. It just <laughs> fell right off the back. So, um, definitely something to be concerned about. If we have bearish news tomorrow. We definitely have something to be concerned about. All right, so our flag list, we have ATI for a put, and it still looks good. Um, basically, falling three pattern, sitting right here at this support line. So go ahead with an alert around $73 to catch the next move lower. Bear Stern um, gave us a wonderful entry today. We, we, we had this set up for a falling three play, and it went all the way down to support. Uh, but what we like about it is that it went down with great volume, and certainly risky to get in tomorrow, but um, because it's at support, if it breaks through tomorrow with good volume, I think we can still get in tomorrow. St definitely think we can still get in tomorrow. CHK, um, you know, eventually it, it just it's tired. It's tired up. It's been trying for two weeks to break above 47. We, we've been waiting for it, and it just couldn't. So as you can see, I have taken CHK off the list. CMI. Um, CMI has given us a falling through entry. We like it. Um, the only thing that concerns a little bit on CMI is that uh, the volume went down a little bit, but we still have a falling through pattern. It looks like it's falling. 
Um, a lot of stocks looks like they're ready to fall off a clip. CMI is not one that looks like it's ready to fall off the clip. It definitely has room to go. So could you continue this one tomorrow? Yeah, but I unflagged it because I'm just not sure. We've got a fall in three patterns. Certainly you could put an alert um, below 47 and see if we can catch a run down to uh, 37. Um, here's another one, dry shipping. Um, I think we actually unflagged this one. And I reflagged this one uh, for tonight. So I'm going to talk about this one later. This one was not on our flag list last night. Um, IBM, you can see we unflagged it. Um, another one, a mini double top here. It just looks like it's giving up. It's losing strength. Um, MTL, another one of our favorite stocks, but it's looking tired. Although this move was on low volume. Look at the volume. Look at the volume, low volume on this one. Um, but the volume is going down on this stock. It's going down. So certainly something that if, if to, the market tomorrow is up and you know the, the news surprises us, MTL will be one of the first stocks I look at and saying, hey, let's catch this. Um, rise back up and maybe we finally will break above 142, 143. Sears Holding, uh, you can see we had this rectangle pattern that we we're waiting to fill this gap over here, uh, waiting for it to break out of this consolidation and it did today. So I definitely think we have another entry tomorrow. Again, our, our immediate goal is to fill this gap and then possibly even lower down to about $85. Double LT, Look at that. While the rest of the market fell, it kind of held on. Um, it did give us, uh, an, uh, you know, our alert was around 58.50, so we did get an entry. But as you, with the rest of the market falling down, definitely would have been a double tank. I still would go with an alert around $59, about half that wick. And finally, when uh, we talked about when breaking this support, and it did, and it's actually right here at this wick. So I would go with an alert tomorrow around 94.50 just to see if we can get to push higher, push lower. So that's our flag list for last night. You can see we checked off about half, and we're going to keep about half. Let's go ahead and look for some of our new trades for tomorrow. Okay, for our YouTube folks, I'm sorry. Uh, because of our time constraints, that's that's all we got. Um, SentinelTraders.com, effective trade plans delivered daily. Um, if you want to download the full version of this video, trade plan that has the trades that the new trades that we have for tomorrow, uh, go to iTunes and download the uh, video podcast, um, and you can find that by searching for Sendel Traders. And again, continue to give us feedback. We appreciate it. Um, again, we're trying to fine tune the product before we go live, and your feedback has been great for that. Um, as always, trade at your own risk, and I will see you guys um, for the weekend wrap up on uh, Sunday night. Thanks, guys. Have a great weekend. Make some money, and remember, uh, most importantly, spend time with your family and have a great life. Mm -hmm.